Um, as a reminder, uh, this meeting is being taped and can be shown uh, at a later date on uh, WRPS or other media outlets. Uh, we'll look at the uh, meetings from the uh, last meeting. Has everyone had a chance to, to take a look at them? All right, I can take a, uh, uh, to approve the, the, the minutes. I motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I got a motion. Second. I got a second <laughs> with uh, Julie. Everyone in favor? All right, that's unanimous. All right. Like out of sync being a person. <laughs> I know. I like the no call. Look at this. The. Uh, oh. All right. So uh, the next half we typically go through is just our voice review. Uh, we have our three voices: uh, Pump, PMA, uh, standard invoice, plus uh, some subcontractors, uh, SM manager, standard monthly fee. And then great builders for 3.571 million. That's their uh, February rec. Uh, all invoices have been reviewed by us, and uh, the design team has reviewed rates with us, and everything is good to go. We're above just over 50% through our construction budget. Um, so we're in that where we expect to be. Any questions on invoices? Any questions? All right, project update. Um, so our, we have a lot of work going up in the building. Um, C build, we're going to work C to B to A on the exterior of the building. C is just about complete. We're moving into B and moving around the front side of the building, and then after that we'll be into A building. Uh, MEP rough in, B building is complete. Painting in B is ongoing. Uh, curtain walls are starting to go up in B and C. Uh, our air vapor barrier is substantially complete in the entire building. And our culvert tie-in uh, was completed over the February break. Our look ahead is setting out uh, rooftop units. We're still waiting on delivery of those. Uh, install site drains has just started. Mill work has just started to show up. Tiling has started going in. Uh, ceiling grid um, is complete in C and it's going to be moving into, um, it's complete in C, being installed in B, and they're going to start A shortly and then continue to install around B building and then move into A once they're done with that. Uh, after that, we're also looking at putting floors in. So finishes, it's heavy finishes now. We're starting to get into where the rooms are going to take a shape and they're getting painted and they're getting finished and we're going to be able to see as we go through the pictures you'll be able to see where we're at. Um, so just to reorient ourselves, we have our, our two site cameras which are up, up online when you look at them at any time. Uh, camera one is the front of the building, this is a month ago. Um, and a month later all of the ADD is complete and up over here where our trailers are, they've actually started uh, brick here. So they're coming around the corner with the brick the front side of the building. This will be a building over here. On the back side, this is where we were a month ago, um, and this is where we're at today. So pretty drastic. Uh, brick is complete. Um, these are actually spots where the mason had his staging tied into, so that's why they, the colors are a little bit different, but once they wash it down, it'll all look the same. Curtain walls and windows are going up. Um, and these, these rooms are actually in, it's just they're blocked off for the mason so they don't get mortar and anything else in the windows that affects them. Uh, so we'll walk around the building, here's the front, all the windows in A are installed. This is the main entrance, it's still temped in. Um, they're using this to load in and out of the building, so this will probably be the last entrance of the building that they're going to put in. They want to leave the big openings to make it easier for them to bring materials in and out. Um, this is inside of the gym. They've got the block uh, installed and then drywall installed on top of it. They'll start taping it later this week. Uh, this is looking from the gym back into the kind of dining commons area. Um, so they framed it all, they drive they drywall on these two sides and they'll, they'll move on to the side. Next, um, in the server, they've got the walk-ins installed, it's all framed, it's all roughed, and they're gonna start drywall uh, in the server end of this week, early next week as well. Um, this is the back side of the gym, all the ADD's done, the windows are done, doors are in, so just waiting for the, the masons to come around the corner and to install the brick over here next. Uh, this is the back of house custodial, custodial area. These are your loading racks getting into the building. Uh, it's all ADB ready for brick. Uh, and then this is where building A ends and building C starts. You see all the bricks done. Those are those tiny spots. Again, uh, most of the windows are done. There's a couple of these corner windows that they're still completing the glass in. They're kind of specialty windows, so they held those off for last. Uh, and just to note, we have done window tests in all sections of the building, and every single window we've tested has passed. So that's great when we, we don't have failures. Uh, this is what we want to see. Uh, 
So I'm going to move around the building. This is again building C, the windows. Um, here are done the bricks done. They're taking down the staging and moving that around the corner uh, to start working on that uh, north side of the building. Uh, here's the in between with the uh, work pretty much complete. And here's the other piece. This, this mass climb will come down next. It's really starting to look nice. It is really starting to take shape. Uh, in between C and B, so they've completed this side of C over D. They, they're just about done here. Uh, so they're going to just kind of move these, move this uh, whole uh, install around to the front of the building and then move on down to A. Uh, this is the other side of B building. So they have, uh, this is all your dense, um, what's it called? Uh, dense glass. So this is the outside the side of the building. They'll be putting insulation up and then bricking this. The other side of D is just on the other side here. They have the brick going up there as well. Uh, there's another shot of in between. This is the interior courtyard, so they're actually putting up brick inside the courtyard right now. Uh, all these windows are installed. We have an overhead door. This goes into your neighbor's space, and a couple of doors that go directly into the classroom, which have not been installed yet. Uh, but you can see over here, curtain walls are starting to go up. Um, so the, even the interior, class, interior courtyard is starting to uh, take shape. Uh, inside C building, We've got grid, we've got ceiling, uh, the uh, lights starting to pop in, you've got final paint colors. Uh, so this is, they're getting ready for tile, they're getting ready for flooring. So this section of the building is a lot further along, further, the furthest along, same here, B, this is C building, classroom, ready, ready for ceiling grid. Um, this is the fab lab, uh, so all the walls are up, they're taped, it's ready, it's ready to paint. Uh, this is the double, that double head space. And then moving into D building, you can see it's a little bit further behind C, uh, but they're dipping at the heels. We've got uh, paint color on the walls. We've got uh, grid up, ready for um, ready to start lighting up once they're complete with the rest of the overhead work and inspected. Uh, B building here, sim similar. Uh, they don't have any ceiling tiles in, but they've got registers, grills, and diffusers for the HVAC system up in the in the grid, and they're ready ready for white up. They're ready for tile. They're ready for flooring. Um, this is the second floor of these, so they're a little further along than the first floor. Um, so that's our update uh, walking through the building. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, we're on schedule. We're waiting for, we're actually still waiting for the February update. We should have that by the end of the week just to verify um, that we're, where we think we are, but we do believe that they're still maintaining the schedule that they presented. Uh, so project budget to date, it's the same. Our current value encumbered uh, went up. We have a change order to that was processed last month. Uh, mm -hmm. So that, that increased the, uh, what's the that? about $187,000, and most of that work has to do with the culvert. We had, uh, I think we talked about this a couple of meetings ago, where the culvert was shown in the, the existing culvert was shown in the drawings isn't actually where it was in place, so we had to extend our culvert to connect the dots. So with the design team, we went through a lot of iterations on costs and trying to find the most cost-effective solution, and uh, this was it, they installed everything within the time that we thought it was going to take them and so it seemed like it was a fair price for the work that they did. It was a significant amount of work and significant amount of extra covered sections to put in. Uh, our invoices received to date are just under $40 million, including the 3.7 for February. Uh, MSBA reimbursements to date are still at 18.6. We do a 3.2 under review and the March, the February bills, um, the, the last round of bills just got paid the first week of March, so those will go into the MSBA this week. And um, th those will be under review, and then once these are paid, they'll be submitted to the system as well. So that's where we're at with kind of the general project and financial updates. Is if we have any questions on any question? on that? Uh, they are starting to do a lot of site work, um, getting the grades up to where they need to be. So I think it's going to be a little bit easier for people to access the building uh, within another month or so. Uh, so if people want to start. If you want to organize a tour for the committee, we can. Maybe, Go in and take a look. Yeah, yeah April, May would be uh, probably an okay time, time to do that. We'll have some sort of pavement down, or at least um, right now it's pretty muddy walking around the site, but I think in a relatively short order we'll have roadways and at least gravel roadways set up uh, so people can get in and out a little bit uh, easier. It'd be nice to get people No, I think that would be a good idea. <clears throat> you know, just be able to, to walk in and see it, you know. Um, it's looking great. It's a, it's, a, it's a very cool building. You're going to be very happy with it. Could we plan to have a tour and then have our next meeting? Like, the same day? Yeah, well, it's, well it, it's going to be dependent on weather and what they can get in for uh, 
Um, yeah, when's our next, our next meeting? Mid-April? Yeah. Let me talk to the um, contractor, see where he thinks it's going to be, making sure it's safe. But I, I'm, I'm going to be here anyway, so I know yeah, if you want to right. come over, we can walk through the building and then okay. come up here for the meeting. Yeah. Okay. Is, if, I do. if they haven't done some grading and there's stuff yeah, to work on, you'll... Uh, you like sink into your ankles, so. <laughs> it, it's, it's definitely muddy. It's not. This is mud season on construction sites, uh, yeah. but they are starting to start working and drain. So when they get all of that, it's when they're going to start building themselves back up uh, to the current, to the correct roadways and catch basins are installed. So that'll start helping take care of some of the water on site as well. Okay. Um, FF and Tech update. Um, so Jay, you can jump in and correct me anytime you want, but we've been. I know that. Some of the people on this table here have been working very hard over the past uh, couple of weeks and months trying to get uh, to final, uh, and I think we're just about there on both of them. So FF&E uh, and Tech, this is all the furniture, uh, and also all the switches and wireless access points and um, those types of items that need to get ordered for the building. We want to order them sooner than later because we want to make sure we get them. With uh, COVID and supply chain issues, we're, there's a concern about timing of this, but. We think ordering them now, we'll be able to get them uh, for the opening in January. So that's that's the goal now, and we're just now really working on the final date. When or when do we want these trucks showing up? So we're working, waiting for the contractor's most recent schedule update, making sure we have a high level of confidence that the building is going to be 100% complete. Because what we do not want to do is move furniture into a building that is that isn't 100%. It's nope. working around working around doing puzzles around furniture <coughs> isn't ideal. And, it just makes a mess. So we really want to hold off. And once they're done and they've swept it, they've cleaned it, then we take it over and start moving furniture in. So that's really the, the last step of coordination with the contractor. And then. But we have a pretty high level of confidence. I haven't heard anything that leads me to believe we're not going to have all the furniture and all the tech that we need to operate the building for a January opening. So uh, that's good. Um, let's see. One other item we had on uh, FF&E tech update was the bus. Is a bus um Bus repeater. Do you want to, uh, do, sure. do you, do sure. you're, is that okay with you? That's fine. I'm Dave Murphy, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm just sticking my nose in this because the other day, one of our windier days, I did what I always do, which is take a look at the tower to make sure everything's secure, and I noticed the bus repeater antennas there. And it occurred to me that I had never heard any conversation about including that at the middle of school. So rather than radio to radio, a bus driver up on Beach Hill clicks their radio, and it actually comes to the antenna here, is amplified and goes out to the rest of the bus fleet and the schools. So rather than a desktop radio, we would prefer to have a headed radio in the office at the new elementary school, and a connection from that to the roof or a UHF or a VHF antenna to, uh, suitable for the frequency of the bus repeaters can be mounted. And that's about it. So for, from our end, we checked the drawings and specs, and uh, like David said, we do not have anything included. It wasn't discussed in design. That being said, it seems like a good idea. Good also, idea. is the ideal time to do it. We still have ceilings open. We have pathways there. Uh, so we're just waiting. We're going to work with um, the school department to see if I don't know if they have a vendor that installs it or they're going to have us install it, but either way, we just need a spec and we're going to need a, approval on the cost to do it. Uh, so we thought it'd be a good idea, since we're talking about it, to bring it up with the committee to see if there's any questions, concerns, or reasons that we shouldn't go ahead and do this. Um, but I'm, not, I'm seeing a lot of heads nodded that this seems like the right thing to do, so just wanted to bring it here while we have this meeting scheduled and present it to you. One other very minor point, rather than an AM FM tuner, I think it's much more practical to have a phone interface. People who are playing things in the morning before announcements now tend to do it by holding their phone up to the microphone, which is not the most high-tech uh, way to get a signal in. So if we could have an interface in the office that would tie into the PA, I think that would be really good. You're gonna have to defer to the, the design team to, but I'm sure that's something that is there's a cap capability there. They can do anything like that these days, right? They certainly can. Okay. Thank you. Good time. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure. Thanks, Dave. <coughs> All right. Um, so our next steps are just uh, coordinating with the contractor, making sure we're uh, ready to go, make sure our orders are put in uh, appropriately timed for our FF&E and &E tech. That's our big hurdle. And then continue to make sure the building is progressing the way we need it to be progressing. 
So once I see the rooftop units, they're going to be a lot more happy. And uh, there's some other the metal panels on the building were a long lead time item. We haven't seen them yet. Uh, they're ordered. They're they're coming. We don't have any reason to believe they're not coming, but uh, mm -hmm. we'll be happier when we, when we see that sort of stuff show up on site. Okay. Um, and that's that's it for my. All right. Um, any questions? Do we any need comments? to vote that a yes? What's that? Do we need to vote that we said yes to that? Um, no, until um, no, <coughs> the, the committee doesn't vote on these the change orders anyway. It's more right. of a, um, kind of like the invoices. We bring it here. If there's any questions, we'll, we'll answer them. Sure. Just want to and we want to, you know, one of the things we want to do is come back and and see what the uh, what the total cost is and everything before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. the way we did it was we can do it without the. Uh, the, the vote of the board. Yeah, um, most change orders um, we run by, and anything that's coming up, we run by Rich and Mark Shaw. And if there's something that um, is not something that's required, absolutely required of the project, um, we would then just present it to the committee. This is something that's technically not an absolute requirement, but it seems like it should be a requirement. So, barring anyone raising their hand and saying we shouldn't do this, I, I think we just include it through the change order process. And, and at this point, there haven't been a ton of, of change orders. You know, there's monies in there for this. <clears throat> We're, uh, I think, this whole project has has gone very well. You know, from a budget perspective. And again, we don't want to spend money that um, just haphazardly, but I think this is, you know, a nice add-on that that makes sense to to help because I know buses go so smoothly. <laughs> I don't miss that anymore. <laughs> I think Michelle and Dr. Cron can tell us that uh, at some of those meetings we have uh, lively arguments about costs and budgets and where we're spending our money and it's um, a lot of times I play the, the bad guy and the devil's advocate because I want to make sure you want people understand what money is being spent on and that it should be spent on there and I think we've had some really good conversations in there and everyone's been really supportive and understanding that hey maybe we don't need this but if we don't get this we can get this and there's been some give and take and it's, it's been a compromise between the teachers and the budget but um, I think all in all we're gonna you know we're gonna outfit the building appropriately which is the goal yeah the only thing I haven't heard anything about is the sign for the front of the building Have we got any pricing or anything for we that haven't yet, yet. It's, a, it's in design by um, SMA's team and, yeah right now our the key is just to, we need to know where it is, which I believe we do, and we need to provide conduits for power and data to that. Mm -hmm. And then the final design is, you know, we'll just build it however, whatever the final design comes up. And I think they're going something similar to what's shown in the yeah. other buildings. Yeah, something we're going to match the same yeah. thing you have now. Makes sense. So we'll follow up and hopefully have a, a design and a price on that by the next meeting so you can, the committee, because I mean, that's one of those things that isn't absolutely required, but you have a sign at the middle school you, and the high school, you should just stay should consistent. Have one it, seems, yeah. it makes sense. It's, Something we probably should have thought about during construction, but it was not on the drawings. And, uh, right. So be it. Thank and that's why we, it's set the way it is. You, you you do all your due diligence, but as you go along, there are there are certain things, like the sign out front. When you when you're doing the whole project, it's it's down on the list of priorities. But as you get along to here, it's like, hey, this is this is something that we want to have. You know. I have um, a question yeah. with Aston. Have discussions forward with that and any kind of plans yeah we have a transition planning team that's in place so we just toured it last week mm -hmm. and we're starting to look at the classrooms toilets things that we're going to need to change so yeah. we're in the initial planning phases um, but again that's something that I have no interest in bringing any costs forward to the town for that yeah. it's something I'd like to see the school department be able to fund internally mm -hmm. so we're I was curious about that too yeah so we're I, we're looking at some costs for sure, mm -hmm. but hopefully we'll be able to handle it on our own without mm -hmm. bothering the taxpayers again. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep you posted on that as that work moves along. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Any other questions? So I think this meeting was successful. We actually had a quorum <laughs> coming live. So. Uh, if no one's opposed to it, I, I, I think we want to try to um, continue doing this. You know, we have up until July 15th, but, um, you know, I, I think it's it's much better if we can get together and, and interact. <clears throat> so if there's no oppositions to that, we'll look to have the meeting live uh, in April. Uh, so it'll be the, uh, the third oh. Tuesday. 
The second or the third Tuesday? Third Tuesday. Is that April vacation? It's April vacation. That's April vacation. Do you mind? Can we switch? All right. I don't. I don't have April vacation. So <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. I mean, whatever. Um, do you want to try to do it for the twenty second? Sure. So if we're. So if one of the goals that twenty second Friday. Oh, twenty sixth. Did I look at the? Was it? The twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. The twelfth. Oh, I'm on March. Yeah. So if if we do it the twenty sixth, so one of the goals is to try to take a tour of the school. Might be drier. What? I was, I'm thinking might whether it might be. Well, it's it's in the spring. You never know. But at least it, it'll give them an extra week. Honestly, as long as there's no snow, um, but uh, it'll give them an extra week to, uh, um, you know, for the grading and getting it in. So maybe we'll be in a little better shape. So if you want to do it the 26th, I will, uh, yeah, I'll talk to them. So my goal, my, I wouldn't have them do anything differently. I don't think we're not going to have them build a walkway or anything. No, no, day, no. Right? But okay. just want to make sure. I don't yeah, no, no. I'm not looking. I would like a red carpet. <laughs> But, uh, and a little bridge that yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just a people those, mover. A people mover. <laughs> At that point, you can pull. You should be able to pull right onto the pavement that's on um, that's on the site and park inside of the site fence. So we can get you just to a door that we can get, you get clear you access into there. We can get you, know, you won't have to trump sorry, too much around the site. <clears throat> so we will plan on that, and I will send out. Um, I'll just respond to the email that goes out for, within eight minutes and let people know. And if you can make it great, just let me know and we'll, we'll expect you there. All right. Do the tour, um, do the so tour at like 4 30. I was going to say, five. yeah, do do the tour a little early at 4 or something? or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. I'll, I'll be yeah. in the trailer all day. So. All right. So that's what we'll plan. We'll, we'll plan the tour around four, and then after the trail, we'll come back here and, and have the meeting. We could have a meeting in the trail. It's a little tight. <laughs> it's only a single wire. Wait a minute. If, if one of the classrooms is farther enough along, maybe we go right in there. How about the building inspector? We'd really like that. <laughs> All right. Um, any other questions? Rich, can I make one comment? Yeah. Um, and I know everybody here knows this, but maybe if anybody's watching the meeting, I should just highlight that I've had a number of questions come in recently, I think because we're in budget season, saying, oh, we've heard about how the project is so far under budget. Can we use the savings to help fund another position or you know, all kinds of other things? And so I know we all know this, but I'll just say it again for the folks that might be watching that this, the funding for this project, the debt exclusion and the MSBA match can only be used on the building project. And any change orders related to the building project. So to the extent that we have savings, because the quotes came in really low and we saved with our low interest rates and all that stuff, all that means is taxpayers will be charged less in the end for the project. The total project cost will be less. We can't take the difference between our initial budget and what we're actually spending and use it to hire staff or anything else. So I know we know this, but I just thought I'd say it again because it's been asked a lot recently. No, it's a good point. And I think some people have misconceptions. It's really not... <clears throat> it's not a savings. It's just we we had an estimate of what this project was going to cost, and at the end of the day, it's going to come in costing less than what that estimate was. So it's really not a savings per se. You know, it's not like you know, hey, it's a ten percent discount off it because that was just an estimate. All it is is the, the taxpayers are going to pay less than what we had given them as an estimate of what we thought it was going to cost them because the estimate we gave them for what the project was going to cost came in under. But it's to your point, it's not like there's extra money there that we can use for something else. And the, right, because the question is, well, they were authorized to spend up to some other higher amount. Can we just use some of that on something else? And the answer yeah, it was no. just so, for this it's project. state law, it's not us, it's the law. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have. All right, with that, I'll take a motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Jeez. Second. <laughs> <laughs> a second? Second. All right, all in favor? <laughs> He's ready to go.